Garrison and thank you for coming back to hang out with me and see what my um, progress is on my project panning. This is my second video. It's only a month in and I feel like I've made some pretty good progress on certain things, but I am realizing that I am slightly young person in um, project panning. I haven't done this um, for a while and I haven't done this consistently. And so to show you my progress is going to be a little tricky because I should have done some things ahead of time that I did not do. Um, including doing weights on certain things that I cannot see um, progress on because I feel like that would have made me feel a lot better about what I'm doing on certain things. But nevertheless, what I'm going to do is I took some screenshots from my video previously. From here on out, I will be taking pictures of everything. I will be getting weights on everything and I will also uh, do um, how many uses um, that I have Done, used certain prod, uh, products to give you guys a little bit of a better view of how much progress I am making. And I think that would make me feel better too because it's fun to see all of the progress um, where I can. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and I'm just going to kind of do it in the progressive order that I would as if I was putting on my makeup. So first things first, let's go through my primers. So first one is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. This one you guys should see really significant progress on because if you see right there, that is what... I have done and I will show you a picture it's going to be super blurry please do not do not get mad at me but um, you can still see even with the blurriness how much progress so I really think I should be able to get this done within this next month and get this out of my project which I'll be super excited about because this is something I will not repurchase the other one this is one that I actually did do a little bit better of a job showing progress so this is where I started this is where I'm at so making slow progress but I haven't used it consistently so that's actually pretty good progress for me I would say so I probably gonna be in here for a hot second but if I use it a little bit more consistently I'm thinking I can maybe get this out within like three months three months right so there's that. Now, foundation wise, um, I, this is where weight would probably work really well. So I have been using this. Um, it still feels like it's going really strong. This is a little too dark for me. I am a pale person. So I have been mixing it in with this. And again, it is very hard to sit there and see the difference. I can look in here. Sorry, my child's in the background watching, um, some YouTube so um, I wonder if I so kind of where those squiggles are the bottom of that squiggle is about how much I have in this and I would probably surmise that this is probably also halfway done but it is two foundations that I'm working on at the same time so this is probably gonna take me a little bit of time to get this out of my project because even though this feels lightweight the foundations lightweight so that's a little eh, iffy so my next one is my Milk Makeup Concealer. This is something I will not be repurchasing again. This is the Sunshine Under Eye Tint Brightener. It's a little too liquidy for me when it comes to a concealer. This is probably nice if you want more of a natural and something that doesn't have a lot of coverage. But I also don't like the ball applicator because this just, it doesn't do anything to kind of push in. And I don't know, it's just a weird applicator. I don't really like it. But this one I did, I did this marking a little bit on the later side. So it's probably a little bit farther down. Um, so I'm up here. This is a packaging that you push it and it pushes the, the product up. So we'll be seeing progress going this way. So I try to use it pretty consistently, but it's not my favorite, you guys. So this is another one that would be probably a very good one to weigh. Um, like what I said, this is a very small, 
small mini version of the Rare Beauty Enjoy. I need the tiniest little bit to go a very long way because look at how pigmented that is. And then literally, look at that. I mean, it blends out beautifully. I really enjoy how it looks, but that's one heck of a pigmented found, ah, not foundation, blush, if I do say so myself. So I have to use this sparingly. What I'll do is sometimes I'll do kind of like the Scott Barnes trick where I'll do blush, uh, my contour, my concealer, and then I'll buff it out with just a tiny bit of foundation. So that way it's not so bright. Um, but I am realizing something and I will let you know what that is when I get to my other blush. But this is my contour stick. So this is my Fenty. So this is how much this bad girl has got left. Okay. And it's a small, small amount, but a little goes a long way for me. So she is one that I will definitely be taking pictures and doing a usage goal, but I do feel like you get, you can see progress pretty well that way. So I might not do a weight on her. We'll see. Next, let's go ahead and talk about powder. This is my Laura Mercier. This one, the powder is really stuck to the side of everything. Sometimes I can like do markings on the powder and to show you how much it, wherever it is. I can't do that with this, but I'm working on it. It's, it's going to probably be in here for a while, but I do tend to go through powders pretty quickly just because I'm an oily person. So that is how that works. So next I would probably end up doing my bronzer and my contour and look at her. She's so pretty. So we definitely have gotten a nice little bit of usage. Um, if you can kind of see the rings here as well, I feel like those are getting more significant. Um, I'm really trying to focus a little bit more on this side because we've gotten so much progress more on the contour side. This is the bronzer side. Guys, this is still one of my favorite things. Uh, thank you, Gigi Gorgeous, for putting this out. It's really great. Um, and then this is my blush. So this is one thing that I'm realizing with my liquid blush because my liquid blush is very pigmented. This isn't super duper pigmented, but I have to be very light handed with this if I'm going to do my liquid blush. Like today, I actually just did this and I was able to put a lot more in, but blush is one of those things, you guys, where I, it's, this is going to take me all year. Okay. So this may be something in the next couple of months, just so I can use some of my other blushes in my, um, collection. I may do more of a usage goal. So for the next couple of months, this is going to be my main squeeze. I'm going to keep working on this, do all of that stuff, but you know, it's like, there's not, you wouldn't think that it wouldn't be hard to use up like a lot of product on it. But when you sit there and you put it over something like this, which I kind of like, cause this has a little bit more peach. So putting this over gives it a little bit more of a pink, a tinge to it, which I like, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's not something I would purchase again either. Okay. So next would be my highlighter. So this one's always going to look nice um, to see because you can see how, just how much progress I have. I'm trying to focus on this side, get this down a little bit smaller. Um, and I'm hoping that, again, I'm going to take pictures so you can see them better. The one that I have for my video is going to be super blurry. But this, hopefully, you'll still be able to see a little bit of progress there. And then the pink one, I'm getting a little bit more of a dip in my pink one. So uh, that's always super duper nice to see. So I'm going to keep working on this. Again, my biggest goal here is I just actually want to finish this highlighter up. So they're fairly soft. So I'm hoping that that's not going to be too big of a thing. Next is my eyebrow. So I didn't do use this today just because I wanted a little bit softer eyebrows, but you're going to see huge difference in this one. I'm like super excited. You guys, you're going to see a huge difference. So that is it. 
look at it. Look at that huge line. So uh, before you could see just a tiny bit. Um, and then now we've got a huge difference. Now, what I'm going to hopefully sit there and do is I'm going to start weighing this because definitely when we start working on more of the sides, we're probably not going to see a huge difference, uh, but hopefully we'll see a difference in weight specifically. And then of course I'll do how many times that I've used this. And then this one I'm super excited about. So this is my eyeshadow palette. Okay. If you remember what I said previously, this one is a, uh, I already had pan in. Okay. So that is looking a lot better. This I did not have pan in. I was pretty close. I knew I was, but we're, we got pan there. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this one actually has pan in it itself. So let me get, there we go. So you can kind of see it. So there's pan there and there's also pan here. So I'm doing a fantastic job with this. Um, I, I love that. I've used this color a couple of times. It's still just not my favorite, you guys. So this might be one of those things where I literally just focus on almost finishing all of these. And then if these two, if I hit pan, fine, whatever. If I don't, I'm not too worried about it. I may go ahead and declutter it if I finish all of these other colors. But I'm really, really happy about the progress that I've made with this. It is absolutely amazing. So much fun. Now, when it comes to lip products, I did have a lip oil tint that I was going to finish up. I cannot find it for the life of me. And in all honesty, I'm not too upset about it. It was not, it was, I it said that I kind of go back and forth. The last couple of times that I've worn it, it's just settled into absolutely everything, especially because my lips are a lot more dry because it's winter and it just does not look good. You guys, I don't know what it is about it, but it, it's just, it's not good. So I, if I find it, I'm going to declutter it. I'm not too worried about that. I've got other lip products that I want to keep working on. So let us talk about my Tower 28. So this is actually sitting up. This one's been standing up. So you can see that this is kind of where we're at. This is right at the T. I haven't used this since I've made my other video. So it makes sense that it was actually, I'm kind of impressed the fact that I knew it was going to be at the T with the way that it looked because it was on its side. So I'm going to start working on this again. Um, but more than anything else, my main thing that I'm going to be focusing on, if I can make sure I know where it needs to be, because this is something that I can easily apply. But this is my bare minerals. Okay. And to me, from what I can see, it's come down a nice little bit. So again, very easy to apply it definitely you're probably going to see me every single video that I show this off until it's finished I'm going to reapply it on video but um it's just really hydrating and it feels good um and so it comes off really easily so this is one of those things where it's actually really easy to reapply because it doesn't stay super well if you want a lipstick that stays really really well this is probably not it but it does fade nicely and like what I said it kind of hydrates the lips so this is something that I really 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 enjoy um, other than that I did have one um, little perfume sample that I finished up um, it was my Gucci bloom one um, so I'm probably gonna be starting on some of my uh, Juliet has a gun perfumes. So this one is uh, Lady Vengeance. Um, I also have a uh, Sunny Side Up. And then I do have uh, this one. I don't know how to say that, you guys. This is one that I've had for a very, very long time. Let me see if I can get this to pop out the way that I need it to. Okay. This is where I'm at here. Okay. So a little bit about halfway. So probably not going to see a whole, whole lot of uh, movement on this one super quickly just because we're in the thickest part of the perfume. And I don't put perfume on super consistently. So there is that. Um, but uh, this was the kit of makeup that I bought previously. So I'm going to use this as my empty one. 
project pan. If you realize I forgot to write the C because I can't spell evidently. It turns out I'm illiterate. That's fine. Um, this was the one thing that I did sit there and say that I also wanted to pan. Um, I'm going to be painting a lot of my um, lip liners, but my uh, Beauty Bakery one, it is all done. All done. Again, I bought it really because of the packaging, because it's adorable packaging, but it is not my favorite. So there's that. But so far, so good. I'm really enjoying being able to sit down and like actually figure out what... I'm doing what I'm going to be doing with certain things, all of that stuff. Um, the other eyeshadow palette, um, because I've been focusing on uh, Juvia's, I haven't done my um, at foresight. I haven't been focusing on those. Um, so I'm going to probably focus on this for maybe like another month. And then I'll start focusing a little bit more on for, uh, foresight. And then also adding in some other things. I do also think that I'm going to be doing a deck of uh, card panning. And I am really excited about that because I'm excited to see what the prompts are. And I think that one's more of a, I would probably do more of a usage goal of like, hey, I'm not trying to finish this up. These are products I would like to finish up. Um, but the other project pans that I may be doing in the future, I want to do to get more use out of my collection. And those I may do like a usage goal of like five to 10. So we will see, but I am super excited. Thank you guys so much for coming in and checking in with me. And I will see you guys next month.